Hello everyone, and today we will be learning how to use the plugin called Stroma CH. It is for version 1.16.x, and the version of the plugin is 0.0.12. I am assuming that you already have the plugin inside of your server and inside your plugins folder, and you have the config.yml already opened. I will only go through the actual configuration, I won't go through the comments because I'll just teach you how what everything means by showing you every single configuration in the game. Okay? And now let's get to it. So we have our first configuration called channel list and it's exactly as it says. Okay. It would just slash ch list. And we have the known channels or test channel and global. These are the default channels to occur. Okay. And very quickly on the right here, right hand side of the screen is the Lonely Gamer account. On the left hand side is the Corpse D account, okay? I will be switching between these two accounts a lot. Uh, so try not to get too mixed up, okay? So of course we loaded quite self-explanatory, just reloads the configuration, invalid arguments, invalid arguments, no permission, no permission. Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, so you have something called switch channel. This says the channel is switched to. So we're going to go to our Lonely Gamer account, which is on the right, and we will do slash ch, and then test channel. All right, and we'll say hello there. Hello. And please note that both these accounts are opt currently. I will explain the permissions uh, at the end of the video, pretty much. Now, we'll notice that we have a thing called global here, right? And if we go back to global, and we do slash ch global, it will set us back to the normal chat. And if we want to change that global, so instead of saying global, you can just do regular. So spell it and just quickly reload the server. Once that's done reloading, we can do slash ch test channel again. And we'll say hello and then ch list. And you will notice that global has been replaced with regular. So we can do slash ch and then regular. And now we're back to normal, okay? Now we'll go back here and we want to create a new channel. So we will copy this little, little end segment here and we will paste this right underneath and we will call this local. Okay, so the permission, we will change permission to ch.use.local. Okay, and the prefix, we will also change that. We'll call that local as well. We'll also change the message format for it. So instead of an arrow, we will just have a bunch of these. And we will change the color to, uh, we're gonna say like a sign color. And we'll change the message to a white color instead. Now if we were to do slash reload confirm. And please note, if you do hear anything in the background, that's just some construction going on. That's all. And we do slash ch list again, and we'll see this thing called a local that appears. So we can do slash ch local, and we'll say hello. We'll notice that as three, like you can realize that between the player, the player name, and the message, it's changed. Right, and we'll see local. The prefix has changed as well to local. Okay, and we do ch regular again, and now we're back to. Ah, if I can spell regular. We're back to the normal chat. Okay, that's that's how you create a new channel, pretty much, right? Now I'm gonna explain something called send regardless of current channel. So we're gonna create another chat, and we're gonna call it regardless, and we'll change the permission to regardless, and of course change the prefix to regardless. And we will set send regardless of current channel to false. And we will reload the server. <clears throat> I am using a local server and not a, not a local hosted server. Okay, so now if we do slash ch list, and we see something called a regardless pop up. Okay. Now remember, both these accounts are opt, and they both have permissions for the regardless channel. Okay. So if I do slash ch and then regardless and say hello, you will notice that the corpse account did not get the message. That is because the corpse account is not set to the channel regardless. So if we were to slash ch regardless on the corpse account and say hello, uh, or say banana, 
we'll notice that we got the message now. If I were to say fruit on the corpse decal, we'll notice that now we both get the message because we are both set to the channel and we both have the permission for the channel. Okay. And now what will happen is that that's what send regardless of current channel means. If two players are in the same channel, then they receive the message and they both have the same permissions. Okay. Now we're going to go down to something called uh, enable distance message. So we're going to go back to local and we are going to turn enable distance message to true. And we're going to change the distance message to 10. And we're going to reload the server. And what this means is that if a player is within a certain amount of blocks, then send that message to player. Okay, so if we do slash ch and then local and say hello again, we'll notice that the lonely gamer got, I mean, the corpse decom got the message. However, if we were to go out very far out, kind of farther than 10 blocks and say hello again, we'll notice that the corpse decom did not receive the message because they were you know, out of range. That is it. Okay. Now we have something called ch list display all. And what that means is that if we were to de-opt the account corpse D, okay, so the corpse no longer has any permissions for anything, okay, so slash ch list, we'll notice that I don't have permission for anything anymore, right? And we were to give the user corpse D the ch dot list permission again, so lp user corpse D permission set ch dot list and true. Okay, and we go back to our corpse and ch list. We'll notice that it will display every single channel. But what if we just want to, you know, give the player corpse channel? Like they can only list channels that they can actually use. Does that make sense? All right, we'll go back to our lone gamer and we will give them permissions for, we're going to say, the local channel. Okay, and they, and they won't be able to see test channel or regardless. This will happen. So we'll go back to our you know, our page here, and we want them to actually be able to use the channel. So we're going to give them the permission ch.use.channels. I'm going to set that to true, and I'm going to go back to over here, and we want them to be able to use, let's say, local, right? But can't use regardless, and they can't see regardless if it if it exists. So we're going to set ch list display all to false. Okay. And test channel ch display all to false for ch display all. So now, if we were to go back here and oops, reload confirm, that's done. Go to corpse decount and do ch list. We'll notice that we can only see local and regular, right? Because that's what we can only really use now, as we said here. Now, if we go to our main account, the Lonely Gamer, which has permissions for everything, and do such ch list, we'll notice that we can see every single channel still, because we can use every single channel. Right. So if we go back to our corpse and do such ch local, oh, no permission. Oops. I think I forgot to give the ch I used local to the actual player. Yeah, my bad. An LP user corpse D uh, permission set to true, and the reason the corpse D was only allowed can actually could actually see the channel local exists was because ch display all was set to true. So now we're going to ch local and we'll see a channel set to local. And we'll say hello. And we'll notice that we got the message now. Right, that's just how it works. Right. And notice that it kind of has a grayed out name here. That can be easily changed over here. So we can do, instead of like a gray player, we can do, I don't know, percent, not percent, and then, um, oh, we'll have a blue name instead. All right, and then we can do slash reload confirm. Oops. Let's shift local again here and say hello. And you'll notice we have a blue name now, right? But of course, this does take account to actual username. So if we were to do uh, something like this, if we were to give the 
corpse the accounts, right? We want them, we want to give them a prefix now, right? Like an actual prefix. So we're going to say LP user corpse D and then say meta, or I don't know if that's how you say it, but hopefully it's right. Add prefix and we'll call this bacon, or oops, bacon and is that it? Oops. Bacon. Now we're going to say hello. You'll notice this is bacon corpse D, right? Because we added the prefix. So it does support uh, prefixes and suffixes. Now what will happen is now we will go back over the configuration here and that should be everything I believe. Oh wait no I've got channel exists. Okay so for, for channel exists this is for one purpose only. One purpose only. When you reset the configuration and you try to delete test channel you'll notice that no matter what test channel always comes back. Right, because it's hard coded into the plugin to always add it every time I start up. So you can just do channel exists and set that to false. And it will, it will delete the channel when you start the server. Then we load confirm. There's actually a list. And it will say, and we'll see that the test channel is now gone completely. Uh, I think that should be everything. Let me check with that. Yeah, that should be it. Um, if you are having like actually not more issues with the plugin, just contact me on Discord. And on Discord, you can just go to the page here and just click this channel right here, this link. That will that will lead me to my Discord server. Lead you to my Discord server. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's all. Have, have a good day, everyone.